and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Kethis now in Brawl. That's right, Brawl has entered the, uh, it's the new format here on Arena that you can now play. They have an event for this week where you can, where you can play Brawl. And then after this week, uh, Brawl is going to be available on Wednesdays. I'm not sure exactly why that is, why it's not more days than that. But anyway, uh, we're, uh, we've, we uh, played some Ayara in Brawl a little bit ago. It didn't go so well for us. Um, you know, it's, just, it's magic. We It's best of one. <clears throat> we are on the wrong side of the games. But now we're going to try Kethis. We'll see how this one does. We have more of a top end here, which I think is, is pretty necessary for this format. So, like, this format, um, you start with 25 life. Uh, you get... Um, you know, you have your seven card hand, which you actually get a free mulligan if you don't like your seven card hand. And then you also have your commander over here, which basically makes your, your hand an eight card hand because you always have your commander in the command zone to cast. So we're trying to go a little bit bigger here. Um, a lot of good, a lot of good cards here, a lot of legendary cards, which is what we want with Kethis. You know, we want legendary cards to be able to, um, reduce the cost of them and then also be able to recast them from the graveyard. So let's see how this one does. Awesome, made a Nikia deck and won your first one. Good job. All right, so we're gonna switch over to Kethis. Let's see how we do here. Yes, you get a free mulligan in Paper Brawl. Yep, that's just kind of the rules of Brawl. You get a free mulligan. And then if you want a mulligan again, then you go down to six and so on. Okay, let's see how this does. So we're playing against Garrick. Alright, so I think we can keep this because of Arcane Signet. It's a very powerful card, Arcane Signet. All right, so next turn I could play Kathis plus Golgari Gilgate. Vessel of the Fire Mind. Yeah, the, the mana rocks are very good. And there's a lot of there's a lot of mana rocks that you can play. Um which is why, which is why we probably saw so many Niv Mizza decks. I don't think I'm too scared of the Storev hitting me for a turn. Let's go and play the Citadel. See what we get. So I think we should do. We both draw a card. So that we can reset our library with Citadel. Darn, didn't work. But yeah, we just had turn four Bolus to Citadel. So that's pretty good. So if we untap with it, you know, like this is just gonna be our turn five. They got five mana over there, so not quite enough for Garrick yet. Power surges through these lands. The land shall conquer you. Hmm. Status statue. Ah, I should have gone to the graveyard. All right, so this puts us down to six. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. Um, don't play this card. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So I can. Uh, 
I'm basically just playing one card. So yeah, I guess I'll we'll go ahead and play this. I definitely should have done discard before also though. Do not underestimate my fortitude. Do not I am whole. Last turn whenever whenever I, I did draw with both draw with Rankle, I should have definitely done discard also though. Because we don't need these extra lands. That was a mistake on my part. Hey, Sothian. So I'm hoping they attack me and not Soren. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Status statue. That card got me pretty good. Um, I, I think so, Storm. I think. I don't, uh, not always, but that was, that was an update they did sometime during this year. They did an update where the card styles for the tokens, um, like the, the tokens have card styles if, if the card has the, the, uh, card style also. It wasn't always like that, but it's, it was an update that was this year. Okay. Do they have another pump spell? Oh, cruelty. Well, that's bad. I need a rankle to <sighs> kill these other planeswalkers over here. Pathetic. So I think I want to be able to play Kethis and Trophy. Oh, I didn't update the basics. That's that's what we really have going wrong here. Is it better to Trophy the store of? So better to kill Storov than kill Nissa. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Oh, they changed it back and then added it back again today? Oh. I guess I never really noticed it was gone. Store is just going to be kind of a problem. But 
I guess Nessa making three threes every single turn is also a problem. The problem with killing Storev is it does turn Pelt Collector into a 3-3 also. Behold, nature's true power. So it's probably wrong killing the store of instead of Nissa. Maybe I should block with Hero and then just bring Hero back with Soren. I guess I should. Oh, I should have minus the Soren first. My, that was my whole plan. Could have that extra one one. That's important. Should have had that extra one one. That was a mistake. Well, maybe not. Oh, that's... Ugh, man. Magic's difficult. So I was like, well, it's, we'll get the Liliana in here. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. But honestly... Good help is easy like, I, I, I just world. forgot about... I, I completely forgot about the, the synergy of, of with Garrick and Tulsimer. That if I would have grabbed Tulsimer... We are the apex. Then, you know, I, I'm gaining six life with Garrick. I forgot about that. Ugh. Definitely regret not grabbing Tulsimer now. Warrior Queen 
necromancer has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Rise and shine. This is going to be a lot of... Jeez. So we go down to one. So they're at 18. We have Citadel activation, of course. Probably should not have... We are relentless. Probably should not have played Kethis. Honestly. Oh, all right, cool. It's gonna make my life easy. I need to keep Soren out there for the life link. All right. Cat this with a win. Yeah, because we'll get, yep. So we're gonna get our we're gonna get all that life uh all that life back with Soren and then I was gonna be able to reset the top of the library with Vivian to look for more things to play with um Citadel. <laughs> the tried and true method, just wait long enough and the opponent will concede. Yep, always works. Kamikaze. <laughs> yeah, the the six nine double strike trample Oketra. It's not bad, not bad. So I can either play Hero this turn or Kethis next turn, because Castle has to come into play tapped. I think it's probably more important to play Kethis. I guess. Hmm. Maybe I should play Vivian. No, nah, we're gonna have a land on top. I hope we have land on top. At least. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. You fight like There's a my lands. rat. That wasn't very inventive. Sure, fire's an invention, why not? This is a tough call. This is a 
a tough call. So, you know, I can mortify the fires, but then this Kefnet is going to wreck me. I could just mortify the Kefnet and attack Sahili. They chump. I could just go Questing Beast, attack. They just trade with Kefnet. Go Hero and Incubation Druid to help set up future turns. I don't really love my options here, to be honest. Tear it down! Tear it all down! All right, we'll get Fires of Invention out of here. That card's really strong. Yay, thanks, Yad. Ooh, has a look, has a look. There are so many mysteries hone your prowess. Awesome. Beacon bolt. Okay, so they got a Narset in here now also. I won't forget our time together. <sighs> Our one planeswalker down. Beacon Bolt isn't too scary with zero instants and sorceries in their graveyard. We really need this fifth land for Ugin. Any of these turns. knows no bounds. I will return. Alright, probably really bad for me. Kefnet and Nivmizit out there. I'm at 18. Probably very bad for me. Okay, well, I'm not dead yet. So that's good. I know more than you could learn in a bathe in ghost. This is not my first ending. <laughs> it doesn't seem like I have any lands in here. That's a, um, this is a, this is a song. Yeah, I know, right? A song to come on. The, the lyrics are, I'm not dead yet. 
<laughs> like right after I say that. Just perfect. So they can recast Niv Mizzet. Um, I think I think you get dropped two tiers at the beginning of a new season. I think that's the number there. Okay, so I can finality to kill Niv Mizzet, but then obviously Kefna kills me. I was kind of hoping they just wouldn't block. Truth lies beyond vision. I can play Seraph, but Seraph can't block both things. All right, one on one. <clears throat> not, not the, not finale. If I said finale, I meant finality. Like, finality does the minus four, minus four. I could use that. All right, we need to mulligan. Free mulligan. No, I don't have... All right, Arcnet. Arcane Signet, like the best card. <clears throat> I don't have a Masker Girl in here. I don't think there'd be too many, like, small creatures running around. Yeah, surprised that we haven't seen like this is the first time playing against Oko because I don't I don't really understand it. I don't know if Oko will ever lose in this format. It just seems like the very best thing to do. Like I could I can trophy Oko and then they just play Oko again next turn. I don't I don't know how this this card loses in this format. But I wanted to do different things. Yeah, I guess that counts as a land. I need land. Yeah, Vraska is just more expensive, and they get to. Um, they're just not even playing against Oko. This is just not even. Like, it's just not, there's just no reason to, like, it's just not, there's just no point in playing against Oko. It's not even possible to do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just a waste of time, really. Like, if you want to, if, if you want to, to be winning with Brawl, you should definitely be playing Oko. But, oh well. Playing Nicobolis. The Demir Tezzeret deck in Brawl could be good. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely see that, honestly. Like, you know, you always have your Tezzeret. The thing. They, 
so there's no sideboard at all in Brawl. So a card like Karn, where you go grab like your sideboard cards, there are no sideboard cards in Brawl. So like Karn doesn't do anything, kind of thing. Where are those lands at? I don't know where they are. They're not here, though. Maybe they're in here somewhere. I do hope this mask is intimidating. Let me pick your brain for a minute. Hmm. Yay. Temple is better than a non land. Not ideal. <laughs> nope, you can't play Yargle as your commander. You can in wait, can you can you in like the freeform brawl? Messing up my equation. Can you play it over there? You can bury your crimes, but your past always comes back to haunt you. I don't think you'll be needing that. Yeah, in friendly brawl. Yeah, you could play it over there. That's cool. Gross. Yeah, we got sub battle Saturday coming up. I, I can do you know like if you if you um, if you are chosen on the the sub battle Saturday, then uh, I think um, you know if you want to play brawl, we could play brawl. I'll have these two decks made: Ayara and Kethis. No, you don't get the precons for Brawl on on Arena here. Yep, it's Singleton. Eureka! <laughs> Sorry, I, I just realized something totally unrelated. A commander that draws you cards? Uh, Narset is another commander that draws you cards. You says ask besides Niv Mizzet. Um, I 
Yeah, Fibblethip. Gadwick. Omnath. Corvold. Shoe Lane. You like the gauntlets? Filter yeah, y'all have a, a bunch of good ones there. Kiora. Kiora is a really good one. That's a good commander. Obviously, it's it's nowhere near as good as Oko, but in the same colors. But Oko really should be banned in this format. It's much too strong. Just turning everything into Elks is just miserable gameplay. The whole point of Brawl is like to play like these fun, expensive cards that you don't usually play in Standard. And just, hey, nice creature. You know, like whatever whatever your commander is, cool. Now it's a three three. Let's tidy up in there. Yeah, we played against one Oko. Would you like to see what's left of Scum? And I just conceded. Wait. You think nature is kind? Yeah, Cure yeah, Cure is a really cool commander. That's that's a good one. It all built up to this. So waiting on Tristani is not good against a counter spell. I'm not losing everything again. What a whiner. Let me show you what was lost. This is a bad attack against an instant speed removal spell. I wasn't really expecting one it, with just one black mana available. Like something that would kill Tristani. You know, they could have like Omnixilis' Cruelty or something like that. <clears throat> we'll see. Our contract oh, is voided. Plenty more where that came from. Unfortunately, Ral minus means that's going to kill Viviana. Ah, I'm a survivor. Board. Not dead yet.
Keep killing my Kethis. Death's master. I will return one day. So now we need two more mana before we can play Kethis. Well, there's one more. <laughs> You're good. N not as good as me, but... Yeah, you can have Mobu as your commander. You can have the Doggo commander. Doggo. No, Golos is five color. I got it all. Golos counts as every single color. So yeah, Golos is a real good commander. Golos, Katha, or um, whatever, whatever the other. Whatever the name of the other. Uh, infinite planeswalkers are so good. A little better than infinite creatures. Yeah, questing beast. I wonder what the weather's like on Ixalan. Correct, yeah, every time a commander dies, you need two more to cast it. I'd really like to untap with Kethis. I really hope we get to. Better watch out. There's a storm. Doesn't seem very likely. Boo. Because untapping with Kethis would. I guess it goes back to the command zone. Would allow us to play the Great Henge from a graveyard. I have practiced again. I have just the trick for this. Not prepared for this. You like the gauntlets? Built them myself. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. The cold auras will resonate throughout the multiverse. Your existence is pointless. Go, Seraph, go. Ravis has infinite loyalty. <laughs> You're not going to like this. I don't I don't know exactly how that works with fires of invention and and um and commander attacks. I honestly don't really know how that works. I have other schemes to attend to. I'll 
Hey, Hyperion. You eons ago. So they're just playing Fae of Wishes as a 1 4. Not a very good card to negate. I'm glad we got negate out of their hand for that card, though. Really? Alright, well they don't have anything right here yet to kill Kethis. Maybe we get to finally untap with it. Hopefully. Hopefully. I have other plans. I don't know exactly what, we're, what I'm going to do about this captive audience. For every action, there's a reaction, and you are not going to like this one. Obviously, the card I really want to be drawing like this whole time is Bolas of Citadel, so that we could just start playing a whole bunch of cards for free. It's obviously the card that I really want. Well, I'll take any of our six mana cards, you know. I think I put Casualties of War down towards the bottom, though, be, like with a Vivian Minus. Ugh, come on. If that would have been Graveyard, I would have put Kethis in the Graveyard this time instead of Command Zone. If that would not have... But obviously, Exile I can't do anything with, but I'm never going to be able to cast this card again because of Nicol Bolas. But I can't do anything with Kethis in Exile anyway. No, Faye's just a Faye of Wishes is just a one four in Brawl. There's no sideboard. It's just a one four. <laughs> I'm, not gonna lie. I'm surprised they keep I'm saving gonna, it. I make it rain just for fun. But I guess a one four is better than these extra lands, I guess. I still didn't. I didn't fix my basics. That's why we're not doing very good. We have these ugly basics. Cool. I'll draw a card. Yay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Teams 
have been foiled. The Fable Passage is good though, reshuffling the library because we we know about like the casualties of war that's towards the bottom. So you know it gets it gets another land out of the deck and also the shuffle is good as well. I'm a god once again. You like the gauntlets? Built them myself. I know all what? there is to know. That is not the thing to do. Just draw a card. That almost hurt. All the cosmos are mine to control. <clears throat> I guess they're trying to ultimate faster, I suppose. I am really into current affairs. Get it? Because current, uh, electricity. Friend, for your conqueror has arrived. <laughs> I am your inner demon. Sarkin. What know you of dragons? They are coming. All right, let's fix our mana. Let's fix our basic lands. Defeated. All right, this should help. All right, so I have one planes, three swamp, and four forests. Okay. That was definitely the longest game we've played in Brawl by far. Yeah, it lasts for a week. This event lasts for a week here. Uh, basically until the end of the month, 24th through the 31st. Uh, we do have Paradise Druid, which is really nice. So we'll give it a try. We could use some more land. Uh, you just play as much as you want. It's just whenever you win five, whenever you win, or like your first five wins, you just get a, a card style of like some of the brawl cards. And then, no, it's not permanent. It makes no sense for it not to be permanent according to me, but, but no, it's not. Um, They're going to have, every Wednesday, you're going to be able to play Brawl on, on each Wednesday. I don't know why. It's just once a week. I don't know why they 
punish people that have like a really busy Wednesday work day. If they want to play Brawl, it's just too bad. I'm not sure. All right, so if my opponent did block, we could have Tulsimer killed Etrada. I could still play Tulsimer and kill Terramander. Or I could just play Sarah for the scales. I think I want to just play Sarah for the scales. Their reason was they needed to see if it was popular enough to have it be full time. You're not, they're not allowing it to be popular by playing it once a week. Just, I feel like it'd be it it would be more difficult for them to like have it, like you know like every single week. You know they have to like be like okay well now, now it's available and then like. Um, you know, now we have to take it, we have to like, you know, put it online so you can, everybody can play it. All right, now let's take it offline. Now you can't play it anymore. I feel like that's just like more difficult than just like leaving it up and letting it be a format people can play. Is that just, is that just me? Oh, this is a temple, so I don't even get to play Casualties of War anyway. It's debating on like playing Casualties of War or waiting. We don't get to play it anyway. I think it'll be too long to find a game. I don't really agree with that sentiment. Destroy artifact, destroy creature, destroy land. Casualties of war. Yeah, if that was the reason, yeah, it would, it would make a lot more sense for it to be a weekend thing than a Wednesday thing still. Each player sacrifices three creatures. You create three food. It's a cool card. So we got three lands. We just have a, a white land, a black land, and a green land. We can just play Kethis on three, and then these costs are reduced, I guess, besides the Seraph. Which I guess we weren't going to be able to play Kethis on three until we drew the planes. Because these would all be tap lands, actually. All 
All right, I should probably lead with Fey Burrow Elder first. Guess they likely have removal though. Fey Burrow Elder is of course going to be a two-two. Dies to you know, basically all of the removal possible. I'll go Kethis then. So they're going to use a removal spell. I'd rather them use it on Kethis. Here, then the elder, and then they so they kill cat this, then I untap and play elder. Sorry, excuse me there. Um, I could go graveyard, honestly. I'm going to go graveyard. We'll bring him back with Soren. Alright, so at least Faber or Elder doesn't die to shock now. <laughs> yeah, poor wizards. They they do a good job of messing things up. Okay, so if I play Soren, yeah, we can do both. Okay, good. So we play Soren. I will have Bring back Kethis. I require your body. Now tap here. Now we have five mana. We can play Garrick. Garrick can kill this thing. All right, that was a good turn. No, my good turn. Act of treason. Curse you and your progeny. Don't use the white mana. Ugh, I guess I have to play this thing first. No, don't use the green mana. Why are you being difficult? Here, you. I guess I, I guess you can use the green mana, that's fine. Sure, I'll take those. Yeah, I didn't really feel like doing the whole full control thing. But I guess I should have done that. I didn't really feel like it, though. So I just have the two Planeswalkers over in the graveyard. We're going to need other things in the graveyard to recast them. All right, cool. Three and two. Let's play one more. <laughs> yep. Got to get that counter for 
Druid, Emberth Skyblazer. Four mana, four, three. If it's your turn, it has flying. When it attacks, you can pay three. If you do creatures, you control get plus X plus zero, where X is the number of opponents you have. All right, four mana, three, four, three flying. It's basically Rekindling Phoenix, if you think about it. <clears throat> no, we're just playing one more game of Brawl for today, Nagu. Then we got two donation decks to do. The donation decks are not Brawl. Speaking of that, I, I never got a Yara up on YouTube. I forgot to do that, so here we go. I need to do that. And I'll finish with the thumbnail there. That hand is ugly. Free mulligan. Alright, we'll keep that one. What are we playing against? Tamik? That's cool. Alright, so we only played against Oko one time. Which is good. So we only had to quit and go to the next game one time. Oh, Nissa, you're pretty good. At doing nothing, they're playing to Meek. Why would I want Nissa? <laughs> That'd be a terrible card to keep. There you go. You're playing a Garrick Sacrifice deck on Brawl. That's awesome. That is honestly surprising that there was no code for Brawl decks and paper to, to have them on Arena to get, you know, so you can have like Corvold. And stuff. If you bought, if you, I feel like if you buy the the brawl deck in, in paper, you should get the code for the the deck on arena. So yeah, it's unfortunate. Ah, he just faced four Okos in a row. I'm sorry, Daff Mania. Jumanji with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there. Okay, so they got Venerate, Luxodon. Here, you are. You're an untapped land, so I can play you. And have you kill you. Your demise won't be quick or quiet. Well, that's unfortunate. I was planning on playing Rankle. But we're not going to let them get that scry. And not going to let them kill my Raska too easily. All right, speaking of scries, let's let's scry ourselves. Except me. Angel of Grace. What a prankster that old Angel of Grace is. The Angel of, of Pranksters. Yeah, there's a few 2CMC legendary creatures in standard. There's Fibblethip. There's Amara. Um, now those are the two that came immediately to mind. I'm sure there's there's more, though. I mean, I know there's more. 
people in chat are going to be saying some here any minute. Lavinia, Lazav. I need to get more French. Yeah, then our opponents playing to Meek. Oh yeah, there's there's the GG Sir Hammer the Broken or something. Yeah, Field of the Dead is legal in Brawl. I don't know, I guess... I guess Tristani's better than... a random card. I guess maybe I should just be putting more legendaries into my graveyard because of Kethis. <laughs> Sir Hammer, the MC. <laughs> that's that's the name. That's the name. I'm pretty sure we got this one. So while my opponent's thinking this is a good time for me to mention the Patreon page, patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. It's $3 a month over there. If you like my content, want to help support me, if you like all these videos that I make. So not very much, just $3 a month. And hopefully we get a couple people to sign up. For that, I'm going to be doing written content over there a couple of times a week and sideboard guides and that kind of stuff. This is the last game here, TTVV. Uh, I'm sorry, Woodfist. Looks like our opponent's done playing. Maybe they got disconnected, honestly. Maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, Chandra Tribal could be okay in Brawl. The, the thing is, is, you know, you only get one of each Chandra. So even though you get to have one of them as your commander, whichever one that you want, you'll that's that's all you get. All right, so Kethis did a lot better for us here. Thorn Mammoth. But yeah, this is... From what we've learned from playing... Um, Brawl today, I think, is that you want to have a really powerful top end. It seems like... You know, ramping and having a, a strong top end is is where you want to be. Um, the basically all the the more aggressive decks that we played against all looked kind of weak. Um, you know, with you, with you having twenty five life and also so like that's that's one thing that just makes the games a little slow. It's hard to be aggressive. You know, whenever you have 
20% more life to start the game with. And then also there's each each player starts with eight cards in their hand because you know you start with your commander including you know one of your very best cards so it's it's hard to go under the um you know it's harder to go underneath an opponent whenever your opponent has eight cards including one of their very best ones in their opener and then there's also the free mulligan so if your hand isn't very good you get to mulligan so that's also a thing there and then <laughs> that's not enough um, this is singleton, so the the consistency of of um, decks is is down. So trying to play an aggressive deck when your consistency is is lower um, is tough as well. So add those all together, and it feels like going small is not really where you want to be in brawl. So you want to be going big. Uh, that's why we saw like the Niv Mizzet decks looked pretty good. Um, because Niv Mizzet just goes really big, kind of the same thing with Nicol Bolas being able, the Planeswalkers being able to recast the Planeswalkers whenever they die is seems a little bit more powerful than recasting creatures. This deck though, Kethis, you know, pairs with a whole bunch of expensive legendary cards, um, and that's that's a good spot to be. You know, like we get to play the expensive legendary cards for, for cheaper, so that's a pretty good spot to be. Um, of course, like we said before, I I do feel like Oko is probably the very best commander, though, because it's a three-mana commander that plays like a six-mana uh, card, basically. And you get that on turn three every single time. Whenever they kill it, then you it's only five mana. If they kill it again, it's only seven mana. And it's really hard to kill to begin with. Okay, so that's it. So that's Kethis Brawl here. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube... Um, you know, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, both of those. And also, um, leave some comments. Let me know what you're doing in Brawl, um, and everything like that. How are you liking Brawl? Um, you know, leave all those comments over on YouTube. And I hope you check out the Patreon page as well. There's a link down below for it, but it's patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. Hope you sign up over there. I would really appreciate that. But thanks so much for watching some Kethis Brawl, and I'll see you for the next video.